So I am taking some electronic notes. Do you know how to take electronic notes? Do you want a few tips? Okay, so I'm taking notes in Evernote, but Evernote is awesome because it's kind of like um, great for your own note taking. And when I take notes by hand, I can snap a quick picture and puts it right in Evernote and it recognizes my handwriting. But a lot of my students like OneNote. OneNote is from Microsoft and it's free and you can even take notes with other friends, but you have to sign up for a free Microsoft account to do that, to just use your school email so that you can use OneNote. Now there's also another cool one out now called Google Keep. And that lets you put little notes and then link to a Google Doc and you can take notes in your Google Doc. Now the one I'm recommending right now for students is OneNote, so that might be where you want to start, but you could really try all three of these. But I'll tell you this, I was talking to one of my former students, Miller, and she is now in an honors program and in uh, med school, and she says the single best thing that I ever taught her was how to take notes in OneNote. So you're gonna have to pick something so that you can find all those notes and not just take pictures of boards and lose them. Does that sound good? Okay, well, that's it. I know you don't want to stay here and talk to me, do you? <laughs> okay. <laughs> See you later. So we're now taking a tour of OneNote. When you're in OneNote, you can look at the top. At the top, you have your notebooks, and you can see that I have quite a few different notebooks. Inside each notebook, you have tabs. Think of these as dividers. You can always add a new tab by hitting plus. Now when I'm on a tab, you can see on the right hand side, now I have pages. So on the right, I have pages in my tab and I could hit the plus and add another page. So again, at the top, we have notebooks and we can add a notebook. We have tabs, which you can right click and color different colors, section color, you see that? Or you can rename. So you have your tabs inside your notebook and you can hit plus and add a new tab. And then on the right hand side you have pages. So you can click and then you can hit the plus and you can click add a page. And once you have a page, you can click anywhere on that page and you can type. You can um, add other things to that page, including even a picture of what's happening in the classroom or a video, especially if you're using OneNote on um, your phone or your iPad or your tablet. Now we're going to open up a Microsoft OneNote. I'm just going to hit the Windows button as usual and I'm just going to type in the word One and then OneNote is going to pop up. Now the very first time that you go into OneNote um, you might have to set things up and um, see I've already got my notebooks and such set up in here um, but I'm going to go and you just want to set up a new notebook so I just clicked here at the top and I'm going to click add notebook and I'm already logged into OneDrive so I'm syncing this to OneDrive if you do not currently have a Microsoft account you could sign up for one and if you do that um, you can actually access your one notes on your phone and everywhere else um, if you want to so I'm just gonna say new notebook or let's just say um, computer science and set this up I'm gonna capitalize the S and the C here and I'm gonna cr and I'm gonna put a date on it since that just makes life easier 2016-2017 and I'm going to click create notebook okay so now it is creating a new notebook now I can invite other people if I want to but right now I'm not going to now here is how it works so up here is like your tabbed dividers okay so I can click up here and I can have new sections you see that section so I could have, you know, vocab or whatever um, for my sections and just double click if you want to change the name and class notes and that's what I'm going to have there. Now right here is going to be the title of this note. 
So this is going to be my vocabulary from my lesson that I'm going to do today. And I'll usually I'll put the lesson number and that sort of thing. Now you can see it appears over here on the right. And you can do all kinds of things with OneNote. I can add more pages and put more stuff on it um, if I want to. But for now, I'm just going to do vocabulary. Now, I can do a screenshot if I want to. I can hit insert and I can, you know, do a screen clipping. I can insert audio, video, all kinds of stuff in here. But what I'm going to do right now is just something really, really simple. I'm going to go to my vocabulary that I need to insert into my OneNote. And I'm actually, instead of doing a screenshot, I'm going to highlight this and I'm going to right click and copy. Now I'm going to come over here and the thing that's nice about OneNote is wherever I click, that's where I'm going to type. And I'm going to control V and I just pasted this in here. Now notice this has the actual page link of where it came from. So never again do you have to figure out where it came from. Okay, now if your box is too small, you may have to make it larger, but what you're going to be able to do is now, you're just going to be able to look up and type the vocab um, right in here where you have it. And if you look anything up, you can paste links from websites and all that sort of thing in your notebook. So this is just getting started with that. Um, the one big tip is if you look at this, um, you might decide that you want to copy, you know, the... Um, the page information um, into the um, note so that you know exactly what it is but you do have this link right here so if you copy and paste stuff um, there is your note now there's a lot more that we can do with one note but this is one of the most useful things and just remember that if you have multiple notebooks you would click the down arrow and go there um, these are different sections so if I click on vocab notice how the pages over here changed um, you could do, some people will do chapters up here, so they'll do chapter 1, chapter 2, chapter 3. Some people might do months, you know, September, October, November. Um, they might do different categories of information at the top, but those pages do change on the left-hand side when you um, click on the different sections. Um, so just kind of remember that tip and do remember to kind of name it well there at the top. You don't even have to save. It just pretty much saves itself, but you can, of course, print the page. And, you know, you can say, okay, I want to print just this page. And you can print it. Uh, you can print whole notebooks. You can do that sort of thing. So good luck with OneNote. So in this assignment in OneNote, you should have your notebook set up. You should have two categories at the top, class notes and vocab. And in vocab, you should, on one of your pages, have the free assessment. Now I want you to take a screenshot of this. So to do this, I'm going to press the Windows button. I'm going to type snipping and bring up the snipping tool and either click it or press enter. And now I'm just going to say I want a new full screen snip and it's snipping the whole screen. I'm going to click save and notice where I'm saving it. Now I usually like to produce some pictures. And I'm just going to call this one note screen snip. I'm going to put my last name on it and hit enter. And now I'm going to go online and be able to turn that in. Never stop learning. 